What's up, plantitas and plantitos? I'm Rosie of Rose Greenery. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I am a plantita from Quezon City, Philippines. I'm a big plant lover and I wanted to share with you all the learnings and challenges I've had with my houseplants and as well as spread happiness through my houseplant videos. So today is a new episode which I call Meet My Plant Wednesdays. So a viewer requested that I do a houseplant tour but you know I thought it will be a long video for you to watch so what I'll do is upload a short video every Wednesday featuring one of my plants it's basically introducing to you one of my house plants every Wednesday well it's gonna be a short video where I will be sharing with you care tips uh, my experiences and challenges I've had with the plant and yeah any other information that you may find helpful so welcome to my first episode of Meet My Plant Day, Wednesdays. And so today I want you guys to meet one of my favorite houseplants, this Philodendron Mycans. She has a velvety heart-shaped leaves and I find her colors very interesting as she has dark green colors but with a touch of a golden brown color and a little pinkish color underneath she's up in our shaded roof deck and i keep her in a bright area up in that shelf behind my smaller plants she gets about less than 30 minutes of morning sun and her foliage would burn if you put her in direct sunlight I water her fully once a week I make sure na magdilik yung water at the bottom part then another watering after 2-3 to three days just giving her enough water like I'm just trying to keep her medium moist well she gets dry fast since I keep her in a shaded roof deck where we get a lot of strong wind and it's really warm and dry up there during the afternoon what I do is I just keep her moist and she seems to love it I also mist her every day since there's no rain lately and I also reward her to bathe in rain shower whenever we get some as for the soil well I have never repotted this before her current medium is peat moss with I guess a little mixture of soil and I have read that she does best in well-draining medium high in organic matter in terms of fertilizing well I have given her Osmocote as her fertilizer just a small scoop before and looks like she loved it Osmocote is a time release fertilizer uh, they look like um, sago and kapag matagal na silang nabasa they would just eventually release the fertilizer and based from my research uh, this plant is toxic to your pets so better keep your cats and dogs away from this plant in case they find this uh, plant interesting to chew on and these are really easy to propagate I tried to propagate this before uh, from my episode 8 and um, I just had a small cutting which I placed in water and it took a while before the roots uh, fully developed like 3 inches long and she only developed 2 or 3 leaves since then and I did another propagation just a few weeks ago I've put the cutting in a moist uh, sphagnum moss so the mixture I use is 90% sphagnum moss around 10% lump soil from what I have read she really does well in sphagnum moss so far she's doing well and she has already produced uh, 2 new leaves I don't have any special care tips for this since she's really one of the easiest houseplants ever I got this plant because I easily get attracted to velvety leaves 
She's a beautiful vining plant that really looks well on shelves or any hanging planters. Well, so far I've never had any challenges or issues with this plant. Now if you see her leaves looking droopy or looking sad, it's probably because she's not getting enough water or she's getting too much water. So if you are a beginner and looking for an easy care, pretty vining plant, then I would recommend this plant for you. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this plant. I hope you find this video very helpful. And if you guys have any other experience with this plant, uh, just let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you like this video, please hit on like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you know once I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye yours!